Hello YouTube, <clears throat> Mr. Angus Wing is back for a video. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to name this video or title it um, Resonant Breaking. <laughs> because, um, well you'll see, it's uh, a good break. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I've done here is now just to start off by saying, um, these are my 28 gauge-ish, my thinnest wire coils I have for this setup. Um, I have a laminated U-core, right? I've tried 22 gauge, I've tried 18 gauge, um, and uh, cap banks that I made for the different inductances to find resonance with the wheel. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to show a couple microwave oven capacitors. Um, now I've opened them up with uh, <laughs> what I did was uh, with a simple can opener because it looks like a can, right? And it, this works. Uh, I just went around it with the can opener. You got to be careful because of the mineral oil. <coughs> but basically open it up. You can pry that up and remove the little uh, resistor that's inside there. So that's what I've done here is I removed the resistors and then glued them back. Uh, glued the top. Push the top back down and glue them. Um, no, that wasn't my idea. The can opener was my idea, but... <laughs> I saw online, uh, not on YouTube, but online someone took the resistors up. But anyways, I've tried different gauges with their resonant caps, different caps for these wires, different types of caps, and all I really seem to do is get breaking. Um, here's the input. It takes a little more juice. Well now, I have it going 600 RPM because this is the resonant frequency for what I'm doing. Uh, the coils here have an inductance value of 7.9 Henry's. Uh, these capacitors together like this in parallel give me 2.01 microfarads. Uh, using the frequency calculator <coughs> online, <coughs> you can do this with a calculator, um, <clears throat> that gives us a uh, resonant, <coughs> excuse me, that gives us a resonant frequency of 39.94 hertz for these coils and these caps. Now we're just going to look at the, the speed. Now oh, she's just snuck down just a touch. Five. I'm just gonna see what I can do to get it closer to 600. The resonant frequency. That should be on the climb a little bit. It is. Okay. So we're getting close to our resonant frequency, very close actually. I don't know what we're doing here. Kind of uh, throws a monkey wrench in my little demo here, sorry. Okay, so we're getting up closer to 600 RPM, which is the resonant frequency. This should be close enough. Ugh, this is bugging me now. Alright, let's see here. There we go.
Okay, so anyways, I'm going to hook this up and you're going to see why I call this resonant braking. It really breaks really well, actually. So there we go. Now it shows voltage, even when the wind, the wheel is spinning so slow. But this is stopping, and I mean quickly. So, okay. Okay, speeding up. So, what I have going on is resonant braking. Uh, one thing I do want to show you though, now my cap's unhooked here, and I have a lead uh, with all alligator clips on both ends. These ones are shorted together, these ones are not. And I'm going to hook them on here and short these coils out and you'll see now they're shorted it's going to go past 600 because it's shorted now it was picking up speed from it was recovering from where I had it down to so now it's shorted and picking up speed right just like before I don't really know what that's going to climb to but there you go shorted like before Take it on. We got our voltage in there. That'll slow back down to about 600. So there you go. Tried different cap banks, different gauges of wire. I got the same result. Heavy braking. And actually, I tried hooking these up <coughs> with the different configurations and then modifying, trying to modify the speed, I can open this uh, duty cycle up to 100% duty cycle. And um, this little motor with these caps hooked up to these coils won't even turn it. Won't even turn it 300 RPM. So, I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm, this is just preliminary and I'm gonna be working at it you know still I just wanted to make a video to show you guys this uh, off the hop resonant braking <laughs> but I have other ideas I have other things to do as well this is just starting up and also uh, in the process of doing all this on the last day or so um, with the different size wires and the different cap banks making them do a testing and all that I had another idea which I think is going to work for harnessing that shorted effect so going to be working on resonance going to be um, working at this steady again um, and more videos to come thanks for watching just wanted to show uh, what I've done so far and the beautiful braking effect that the resonant tank circuit gave me. <laughs> Comment suggestions, uh, leave them in the box. Please be kind. Um, more videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.